I just... practice all week. For your boo-boo? Yeah. Did you really? Boo-boo. 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 Okay, ready? Boo-boo. <laughs> Can we talk in Italian? What is it in Italian? Boo-boo. 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 Give me. Grazie, grazie. Ring a ding ding. Salute. Ooh. Hey guys, this week at My Drunk Kitchen, I am joined by returning extra special guest Edmundo Sarki. Thank you. Yay. Edmundo has returned yet again this October, because I think you were here last October. Last October. Yeah. yeah. Every October is a date. And in October, Edmundo and I like to get together because it's National Pasta Month. It is. Wow. And did you guys know that there are over 600 different shapes of pasta? That many? Did you know, Anna, that every different pasta shape has a different pasta purpose? A different pasta purpose? Oh well, with the help of Barilla Pasta, because they are my familia. Nice. Hey. <laughs> and mine. We are going to explore different pasta shapes and their different pasta purposes. I will tell you, Edmonto's been here for one hour, and I'm going to say 55 minutes of that have been him playing with Charles. Do you blame me? No, I don't. I really <laughs> don't. Edmondo, name this pasta shape. Farfalla. Does farfalla mean bow tie in Italian? Yeah, it also means butterfly, but in this sense it's bow tie. Cute, although the idea of eating butterflies? Not so good. The idea of eating a bow tie is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my first pasta question. Do you call anything you put on pasta sauce? <sighs> wow. Right? Yeah. So if you put a little olive oil and some capers and tomatoes, can you call that a sauce? So you name the ingredient, you don't say... Pasta with oil? Oil and garlic. Garlic, oil and chili. So you say aglio olio. Aglio olio. Aglio olio. Oh, Did you wow. remember when we made the spaghettata? Oh, I love that. You do the spaghettata aglio olio. Let's look back. People always approach me and say, Why are you so beautiful? And I said, because you drink too much. <laughs> okay, so not every pasta is paired necessarily with a sauce. Let's talk about farfalle. What about this? Farfalle is generally used with a light sauce. You don't generally serve it with tomato sauce because it takes a little bit too much of it. <gasps> you see how much how much space there is in the pasta here? Mm, so mm -hmm. if you do a sauce that's a little too thick of tomato sauce, all this uh, farfalle will get stuck together. Oh. So there's really not a rule on what sauce goes with what shape. It's more of an artistry. Oh. So the more you do it and the more you get comfortable with whatever pasta you're gonna use. Speed round. Rotini. Rotini. It's a fun shape. It's usually what I make for my kids because you know they play with it and then they eat with it. They're great for a pasta salad and my favorite way to make rotini truthfully is with tomato sauce and canned tuna. Oh. With marinara and canned tuna. It's that unbelievable. So why the rotini though? Why the rotini because, versus the farfalle? Because the farfalle is too gentle, it's too delicate for the for the thick sauce. But the rotini, it can take a little more weight, and all the tuna gets stuck in between the little rim, and it's just delicious. Oh, you gotta try it. Tell me about this one, hot shot. Elbow. These are baby elbows. These are babies. Yeah. Elbow pasta. The way I would handle this pop here is with a cheese sauce. Personally. Did you call this a puppy? These puppies. <laughs> the way I would handle this elbow Puppy. pasta, these puppies. Guys, I have to tell you, not drinking for the last like two and a half weeks. I have a really high tolerance, not right now. Yes. We do have more wine coming. Okay, let's move on. One sec. Tell me about Tortellini. I gotta tell you a great story about Tortellini, I can't wait. The legend says that Venus, she went to this inn in Italy. The host was taken by her beauty. <gasps> he followed her and he peeped. He peeped? Through the keyhole and he saw her navel. Her belly button? Yeah. He was so intrigued by her navel and her beauty that he went downstairs and he created this pasta to resemble her navel. Belly Wow, the navel! I think this totally looks like navels. And you know, everybody's navel is shaped differently, yes. looks different, mm -hmm. but all navels are beautiful exactly as they are. We're talking about belly buttons. So what mm -hmm. sauce would you put with the tortellini? I like to think that when I cook a tortellini, I cook it well enough that it provides its own. That's nice, because you know what? You're totally right. Traditionally, what? tortellini are served in broth. They have the meat inside and everything. You just put them in broth and you eat them like that. They're delicious. Wow! Cheers to your genius, my Thank friend. You. Thank you. Mm. Your gin, <laughs> yes. <laughs> gin, yes. I'm drinking gin. Okay, Edmundo, you show me what I thought were four pretty challenging pasta shapes. I have even more of a challenge for you. Easy. Rapid fire, asking you sauce for each of these pasta shapes. All right, let's begin. Orzo. I love orzo with garlic, spinach, chopped tomato served as a side. Orecchiette. Orecchiette, you know what it means? Uh-uh. Little ear. Little ear? Yes. Like little finger? Broccoli rabe, garlic, and sausage. 
As a side or as a main? As a main. <gasps> Ooh. Or as a medium dish. Fettuccine. Fettuccine, I would say I like it with meat sauce. Meat sauce. Meat sauce. <laughs> Linguini. Linguini pesto, basil pesto. Put your best in their pest. Spaghetti? Pomodoro. Pomodoro. Tomato sauce. Tomato sauce, why not? <laughs> what about this? Oh, my favorite. Rigatoni, I love with tomato sauce, eggplant, and ricotta salata. Wow, that was some impressive rapid fire. Thank you guys so much for watching. Wait, and wait, Mondo, thank you. What? Wait. What do you mean, thank you so much? You said you were gonna feed me. Did you put the water on? You said you were gonna make me some pasta. No, I said season four of While the Water Boils is just premiered, so you should check it out because we have incredible guests like Danny Pudi and V. Neil, etc. We have to have dinner, Anna. Are you kidding me? <gasps> oh my God! Good news, Edmondo! We have Barilla's ready pasta. Al dente perfection in 60 seconds. All we have to do is the following steps. Are you making it? I'll cook for you. Yeah. Because I can put this in a microwave. Gently. Need pouch to separate pasta. Mm -hmm. Step right. two, tear vent prior to cooking. Step three. Microwave for 60 seconds. BRB. <laughs> and then after 60 seconds, you pour your pasta into a bowl. Look at this, it's fully cooked pasta in 60 seconds. What is in this stuff? Pasta, olive oil, and salt. Ooh, Nothing else. Hold on, here, can you pour a little gin in my cup? Just gingerly, emphasis on the gin. Salute. Salute. Ariana Grande. Oh man, this is so good. Thank you so much, Edmondo. Thank wait, you. Wait, 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 wait. Are you gonna eat it like that? A little maybe tomato. Where did you get that? This is my house. Always put some salt in the tomato. Salt your tomatoes. Yes. And put some pepper. Pepe your tomato. And put olive oliva. Olive oil. Yes. And then shake your measuring <laughs> cup like this. You know, Anna, you can also cook it if you like the tomato. But it's okay even raw like this is delicious. And you want some parmigiano reggiano? Yes, please. <laughs> Always say yes to cheese. Oh. And <gasps> Oh. It looks good. It looks great. Bon appetito, everybody. Bon appetito, Mondo. Mmm, it's good. It's good. We could eat this. God, this is so quick. So if you don't have, you know, nine to ten minutes to wait. This actually works. To be fair, I think the ready pasta is an excellent addition to the Brilla family. Mmm. Wow. Victory lap. Victory lap. You didn't have to put the water on. But you know what you can do while the water boils? What? Watch season four of our new show. YouTube.com slash Barilla US. I interview amazing people. And Mondo. Yes. I think we're soulmates. I think so too. <laughs> hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Edmondo, thank you so much for being here. I love you. I hope I'm not coming on too strong, but I mean it. Please do. <laughs> please do. If you guys enjoyed this video, please click like, subscribe, leave a comment in the comments below, turn notifications on so you know this video was posted, and be sure to check out season four, how do you say four in Italian? Quattro. Quattro. Of While the Water Boils, available now on youtube.com slash Bye everybody. Have a great day. Ciao, ciao.